My name is Gene Oslin, and my wife is Kathy Oslin, and I have three daughters, Misty, Candace, and Tracy. And we live south of Andover, eight miles, on the west side of Day County in South Dakota. When I was a kid, my father had 125, 30 beef cows, and we uh, grazed land in 120 acres paddocks to uh, control the grazing and move the cattle every so often. Me and my wife, when we got married in 1972, we bought a farm just west of them, and we milked cows for 20 years. After we got out of the dairy, we went into uh, controlling the grazing for beef. We never could build a complete beef herd, so we rent our land out to beef herds, and we changed our grazing from 120 to 40-acre uh, paddocks and 20-acre paddocks and we move cattle from anywhere from five to ten days. Every pasture has a web water unit in it and we service with all good water for the cattle. No dugouts are ever used to drink out of to um, help with the water control. Gene and uh, Kathy are, are unique in the way that they're actually managing for grass instead of livestock and they've actually seen an increase in, in livestock gain and, and production from the rotation and managing their grass and not necessarily their livestock. It does get challenging at times. Uh, there's a lot of work, all the fencing, all the, the water that had to be set up in the different spots and uh, rotating the cattle, taking pictures from one pasture to the other, just keeping up with the process, but it is so very well worth it because you go out into the pastures and you notice all the grasses, how tall they are, and the beautiful flowers and all the wildlife that can live in, in those places. Cattle, um, if you um, keep grazing it year round, a tender grass comes up, they're gonna nip it right off. So the root system don't even ever, ever have a chance to get strong, you know. The, they just keep grazing the same grass over and over where we make them eat the grasses they don't want to eat. They'll eat 90% of the flowers, I'd say. Uh, the flowers and uh, a lot of the weeds, they'll trim off, even Canadian thistles, they'll bite them off to help you control them if you control the grazing. By grazing off, we can bring back a native pasture and uh, in July when we get a rain, boom, we got grass back. Because of the heavy grass, the weeds are slowly choking down. Hopefully the spraying will get less and less every year. Gene and Kathy's rotational grazing system, you'll see the increase of infiltration, organic matter, soil structure, the soil biology has increased, as well as the grass above it. You'll see an increase in grass production and wildlife on top of that as well. The most thing I love about here is the wildlife. The birds, the deer walk by us, the coyotes walk right next to our house. Uh, you see everything here. Our main goal in the future, and both Gene and I have worked really hard all these years, is to maintain that we can keep our land and hand it down to the future generations. Our daughters, our son-in-laws, our granddaughters, and that they too, and I, and I think they do, will take a, a good interest in maintaining the pastures. We want to maintain our grasslands for years to come. I had a guy from Watertown I worked with and he asked where I lived. He said, why don't you move closer to your job? Because I told him I live in heaven. And he come out here and he agreed with me.